It was actually Balaram that threw him on top of the tree. <laughs> but as Balaram threw him on top, he whirled him around. <laughs> and he actually became so dizzy, he gave up his life. And then Krishna and Balaram, they liberated his soul. Can you imagine what his karma was? He was daily eating humans, or to speak of any other animal. Anything he could catch, he would eat. He was a murderer, he was cruel. Respect, isn't it? You know, you and me, we may bow down to somebody and say, I am respecting you. But Krishna's giving them liberation in the spiritual world for their eternal soul. Because aham bija pratapita. Krishna sees everyone, even the most, every species of life. Krishna seeing that atma as his own beloved child. And when he comes to this world, he comes to actually give the highest opportunities for everyone. So he respected the soul of Dainuka to the highest degree by giving him entrance into the spiritual world. But you see, we can't do that with each other. <laughs> We can't start throwing each other on, on tops of trees and saying, I am respecting you. <laughs> Unless you have the power to liberate them forever from birth and death, better that you touch their feet rather than throw them on top of trees. <laughs> this way we can all be united in the chanting of the Holy Name.